Hey guys, Pan here, and today we have another DayZ video. Now today we're going to be talking about the AK-47, or its variant, the AKM, which is being used in the DayZ game. As always, stick around to the end because there is some PvP action. So let's hop right into it. The AK-47 is a select fire, gas-operated, 7.62x39 assault rifle developed by Mikhail Kalashnikov for the Soviet Union. Design work on the AK-47 began in the last year of World War II. In 1946, the AK-47 was presented for official military trials, and in 1948, the fixed stocks version was introduced into active service. Even after almost seven decades, the model and its variants remain the most popular and widely used assault rifles in the world. This is due because of their sustainability, reliability under harsh conditions, and low production costs compared to the contemporary Western weapons. The ease of use of the AK-47 is so prominent that you can actually teach a soldier to clean and disassemble one in under four hours. As of 2004, of the estimated 500 million firearms worldwide, approximately 100 million belong to the Kalashnikov family, three quarters of which are AK-47s. It's also one of the most recognizable guns because of how many conflicts it's been involved in. So now we're going to talk about the AKM, which was introduced into service with the Soviet Army in 1959. The AKM is actually one of the most common variants you'll see of the AK-47. Compared to the AK-47, the AKM features detailed improvements and enhancements that optimize the rifle for mass production. Notably, the AK-47's milled steel receiver was replaced by a U-shaped steel stamping. As a result of these modifications, the AKM's weight was reduced by over 2 pounds, the accuracy during automatic fire was increased, and several reliability issues were addressed. The AK-47's chrome lined barrel was retained. It's a common feature of most Soviet weapons. Pretty much what it does, it resists wear and corrosion, particularly under harsh field conditions. Now let's get to the PvP. I've actually already spotted this guy. He's up in the tree line above the tents. I'm trying to seem like I haven't seen him yet just so I can line up a shot because I don't have a PSO scope. I take some pot shots at him, hopefully just to get him to run away so I can actually get to his position to get a better shot. As soon as he begins to run away, I decide to pursue him just so I can get close enough for a shot. Thankfully he did take that step and I actually was able to hear him because he was actually sneaking up right behind me. This guy was actually one of the most decked out guys I've seen on the server because it is a private server and it's actually kind of hard to find M4s and stuff like that. I ruined most of his stuff but I was able to get an M4 with a couple mags and I decided to get the fuck out of the area because he could have friends. If you guys enjoyed the video please hit that like button and subscribe for more daily content and I'll see you guys in the next one.